that just boosted my energy. <laughs> that was so good. The sriracha just brought it to life, to be honest. This sandwich, very like neutral flavor, but the sriracha sauce, woo, that is super, super tasty. It even got pickle in it. Welcome to Las Vegas. As some of you know, me and Alfonso are professional dancers and teachers, and we've been hired to come here and teach salsa at the Las Vegas Super Congress, but we are also in the mood for delicious food. So as we were walking on the strip today, we saw the crispiest looking chicken sandwich. And then the name of the restaurant was called The Crack Shack. Not sure how they come up with that name, but it reminds us of our favorite chicken sandwich, which inspired our YouTube channel, actually. It was called The Chicken Shack in Vancouver. You guys have to go check that out. That is what inspired this whole channel, was showing you guys our favorite chicken sandwich place. But now we're on, we're on the Vegas Strip, and we're gonna check out this place called The Crack Shack, and the chicken just looks super crispy, southern fried, California style. So let me go show you what it is all about, but first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, hit the like, and let's go have a delicious sandwich. <laughs> They don't even have uh, chicken fingers or bone and chicken because everyone is buying this chicken. So we got two of the most popular sandwiches. One is called Firebird. This is a spicy fried thigh with ranch, crispy onions, pickles on a onion bun. Then we got the Coupe de Ville, which is a fried breast cabbage pickles, uh, chili lime, oh lime mayo on a brioche bun. That's more of like a coleslaw style. Um, chicken sandwich which is kind of the chicken sandwich we fell in love with and uh, yeah so then you come over this way you can get your ketchup because mr. french fry taster over here likes ketchup with his french fries <laughs> and you can get ranch you can get um, the baby G's barbecue you can get Baja hot sauce let's get Alfonso a ketchup Alfonso you ready now, Alfonso, don't spill it out on your really nice shirt, okay? <laughs> Here you go. Now, we're also gonna get the, this sounds interesting, Baja hot sauce. I'm gonna get that too. Ooh, very red. And we are going to get the Sriracha 1000 Island. Ooh, looks spicy. Okay, guys, and we got this little buzzer. It's gonna go off when it's ready. So now we can go find a seat. So this is fun because you can just order drinks at the bar. Oh guys, you know the chicken sandwiches, you know the chicken sandwiches are gonna be crazy good when they leave a pile of um, paper towel on the table. Ooh, there it is. That's not ours though. <laughs> the hanging chicken up top. <laughs> okay guys look we got our sandwiches we got the coupe de ville over here and then we got that fried uh, spicy sandwich over here okay let's go
guys, these sandwiches are solid. We got our spicy sauces. Wait, this one actually smells amazing. And they came out super fast. Take a look. Okay guys, our sandwiches look insanely good. Take a look at this package here. This food came out fresh, hot, and quick. We got to cut in half. I'm gonna take this bad boy out of the, the packaging here. Whoa guys, this is solid. This is full, so much cabbage. Look at that nice chicken too. They fully loaded this thing, guys. So this one was one of the most popular. And like I said at the beginning, what inspired our whole YouTube channel was the fried chicken in Vancouver called the Chicken Shack. So this one, I found out that the reason why it's called Crack Shack is because the chicken comes from the egg and the egg was cracked. That's what she said at the front there. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Oh my god. The chicken is so juicy. Mm. And then the cabbage on the outside, it gives it that coolness, that beautiful texture. Mmm. Mmm. The cabbage is just going everywhere, guys. It's not the most pleasant thing to eat. Definitely on like a first date, it'll just go everywhere. <laughs> but if you want ultimate satisfaction, this chicken sandwich is really good. It's hitting the spot. Mmm. Mmm. Now, now I know why they have the napkins like this. <laughs> Look at that. Paper towel on the table. There we go. You're gonna need a lot of paper towels with these sandwiches, guys. They are dripping juicy. Let's try some of the hot sauces here. So this one was the Thousand Islands Sriracha Hot Sauce. This is more of a sweeter sandwich. So I think the sweet and spicy is gonna take it to the next level. Let's try it. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. That just boosted my energy. <laughs> that was so good. The sriracha just brought it to life, to be honest. This sandwich, very like neutral flavor, but the sriracha sauce, woo. That is super, super tasty. It even got pickle in it. We got fries on the side. Tasty looking fries. Hot. Mmm. It tastes like real potato fries, guys. So this is the first sandwich. The next sandwich is like a spicy fried onion sandwich, guys. You're going to love it. Okay, guys. Next chicken sandwich is something spicy and very crispy. They got some crispy onions on here. Take a look solid chicken burger, if I don't say so myself. Love the packaging, love the idea, love that it's in like a little grocery bag. I'm gonna open this a little differently, see if it, if it opens up better. Oh, this is on the onion bun, which is different than the brioche. Whoa, look at this. Holy, this is such a big chicken burger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a juicy chicken burger. My mouth is drooling, just like looking at it. Is your mouth drooling over there? <laughs> it should be. <laughs> this looks crazy good. Okay, I'll let you admire how well everything is placed here. So. 
This is one of the uh, most popular. You can see that it has been dosed with that hot sauce, pickles. Uh, they got crispy onions over here, some sort of a mayo on an onion bun. When you're eating this, you need to get a napkin in advance because I know this is going to get messy. Where should I even go from? Maybe I'll start from here. <laughs> mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is the burger. This is the burger you want to come back for. Oh, the flavors, it just keeps coming. It reminds me of, um, oh, it reminds me of something. Like those chips at home. I forget, it's like a very distinct flavor. <gasps> barbecue chips, that's what it reminds me of. Lay's barbecue chips. The coating ar around it, it just has that barbecue flavor. See, I didn't even get any of the pickle yet. Oh, oh, and with the pickle. It's like sweet and like barbecue-y, if that's a word, and flavorful. This is chicken thigh, so it's more juicy. Like, I would top it with a sauce, but this on its own doesn't need any sauce. This is like a, a good solid, I'm gonna give it eight and a half out of 10. Eight and a half is my score. <laughs> it's really, really good super punchy with flavor. There's something about the chicken shack in Vancouver, it's got like a spot in my heart. So we're gonna have to go back and do a redo of that first video cause I was a little nervous making my first video, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, let's try another bite. Mmm. Everyone. Mmm. Guys, really good burgers. Guess how much? 14 bucks. I'd say that's a solid chicken burger for 14 bucks. Really good guys, crispy onions. So, just for fun, I am gonna top it with this sauce and see what happens, because that was spicy. Very spicy smell. It's like a Frank's hot sauce. The burger on its own is perfect the way it is, guys. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna enjoy these amazing foods. Two chicken burgers and french fries. Let me know if you've seen a chicken burger like this before. And guys, stay tuned because we're gonna go outside. We're gonna go on the main Las Vegas trip. We're gonna show you guys all the beautiful lights and we're gonna find a dessert. Wow, guys, the sandwiches in here are so crispy, so flavorful. I definitely would come back here, guys. So you gotta check out this place, the Crack Shack. It sounds funny to say. So we are on our way to find a nice gelato ice cream, and I couldn't think of a better place than this little Italian eatery where it's all Italian. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And here we are on the strip. show you guys this eatery all Italian if you want authentic Italian experience you got to come to I, I've been saying it wrong it's Italy not Italy Italy Let's walk this way. OK, 
Okay guys, over here you're gonna find Italian street food. They have sandwiches all lined up here. Mortadella, contadino. Did you guys hear my accent? Contadino, mortadella, prosciutto cotto. Alfonso thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> Over here, I can see 20 regions, 200 plus cheeses, 100 plus salumi. They got hanging meat. Okay guys, we found handmade, in-house, everyday gelato. And there are lineups of people next to this gelato place. It's called Il gelato, il dolce italiani. So I think Alfonso is going to love it. Um, let's go see what flavors they have. Alfonso's a vanilla kind of guy. Uh, what kind of ice cream do you like? Vanilla. Vanilla. So let's go see how their vanilla gelato is. That's it. Thank you. Ooh, look at that. We got vanilla ice cream in like a fried donut. Okay guys, we got this ice cream with a crispy fried donut. They cut it in half. This is handmade, everyday vanilla gelato. It was called the Bombalato. Um, so yeah, let's see what the professional dessert taster has to say about the ice cream. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten? He's Mr. Ten out of ten guy. So really cool that they have this donut. I've never seen something like this. Um, let me rip a piece of this. I think you're supposed to... I'm eating it like how I eat my Indian food. <laughs> Ooh, that's really good. Wait, I'll find it now. It's like sweet. It's like donutty. You have to rip it. You can't rip it with your spoon though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me help you. You go like this. And play on my plate. Yeah. And then it's so yummy, so my yummy. And don't drop it. And it's powdered sugar, guys. Is it good? Good. Yeah, let me show you guys when I lift it up. That's what it looks like. Maybe this is how you eat it, like an ice cream sandwich. So guys, we are going to devour this ice cream. I think Alfonso's really excited about it. So guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We have a few more days here in Vegas. We are gonna show you guys other places to eat. So hit the like, hit the bell, hit the subscribe button. And on that note, just keep on dancing. Keep on dancing.